olmuş. The question is, do I dress like the locals? Do I dress like the locals? That's a setup question. Nah, I don't have the rig for it. I'm more of a sweatpants. Like really short shorts? Depends, I don't have any speedos to go surfing in. Little underpants? You know, I'm not that kind of guy. Very simple, I guess. They have a cool style. A lot of Brazilians use speedo. You just don't wear much? Bikinis, even if it's a little bit cold out. Kind of mankini. The budgie smugglers on the beach. Bikini? And the girls don't like to wear much at all. Don't wear much at all. And a big old shiny six pack. You can see everything. I just wear speedo with my girlfriend. <laughs> Talking about speedos here, bro. Don't interrupt. <laughs> this guy in the speedo. <laughs> landed in Rio, but before we go to Saquarema, we're going to stop at Liblo and have uh, an acai at Bebe Lanches, which is one of the best acais in town. A little bit of granola. Mm. This is awesome, man. Acai is really popular in Brazil. Everybody loves it. It's food from Amazon. It's full of antioxidants. They say it's a super food, but even if it wasn't, I'd still eat it. It's so, it's so nice. This is what I like about Rio. It's so, it's so live, you know? The streets are so alive. There's all these people, and it's like a mix of people from all backgrounds, and... I like Rio as a town just to move around and, you know, food and have a few drinks. I think Rio has a better vibe. I actually really like Rio. Of course I prefer Rio because I'm really Carioca. Saquarema for the waves and Rio for the parties. <laughs> so Saquarema is like 100 kilometers north of Rio, but it's quite the opposite, you know. It's a small town, it's pretty quiet, it's got great waves and I think the move to move the city there was, was, a, was a good move, you know? And Sacorema is one of the birthplaces of Brazilian surfing, so on top of the waves, which they have like some of the best waves in Brazil, it's, it's really a uh, historical place in, in Brazilian surfing. I think Sacorema is a good choice. I enjoy the waves here when the swell gets big, like a giant version of Narrabeen with less hectic na <laughs> locals than Narrabeen. <laughs> Sorry, Narrabeen. <laughs> Sorry, Davey. I prefer the waves here for sure. When you're talking about waves, Saquarema is one of the best waves in Brazil for sure. I've never been to Rio, so Saquarema. <laughs> 
I'm Lucas Chumbo Chianca. I'm from Brazil. I'm from here, Saquarema. And we are just here for the, the WSL, WCT for small waves. But I'm a big wave surfer and I'm here for show you all my city. This is the barbecue place. We're doing our family barbecue all the Sundays and my mom did that. I know she loves me so much, but this is too much. <laughs> this one is my trophy from the XXL Awards. That trophy means for me a lot. That was one of my dreams and my dreams come true. And now I just wanna keep going. So let's go have a look around Sakurama. I'm gonna show you my city. I love my home. This is my first home. I born here, I started surf here, and when I was three, I started surf right here on Praia da Vila with my dad. When I come back to home, I feel more comfortable and I just recharge my energy for go somewhere again. My English is not the best. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Aloha! Tudo bem? Como é que você tá? Vamos te ver. Now he's gonna fix my sled. I know he can do. He likes to reuse the, the blanks from the long boards and make some really small boards for him. Cacaloha, thank you so much. Obrigado. Tamo junto. Tamo junto. Valeu, meu camarada. Pega aí. So now I'm gonna show you guys the best baker around the city. This one, it's my favorite. We just found a little novelty bank and we're gonna have a little cheesy challenge. Then we're gonna go and have some Trascaria. Then we're gonna have a cold Antarctica because it's a lay day. So we're gonna suck the marrow out of Brazil. We're in Brazil, beautiful day. We found a nice secluded beach. Boom, paparazzi. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this. I'm training so hard to uh, get good results in the contest. Caroline is so good surfer. She's so young and she riffs so She's amazing and one day I want to be like her in the, on the ST, representing Brazil like she's representing the, her country. Taina, she's, yeah, super cool. I just got to know her last year in Hawaii. Really, really great surfer, super nice, really determined, works hard, surfs a lot, so she'll definitely be on the tour in the next few years. The future of Brazilian girl surfing is um, really cool. Watch out for them.
Picanha Paraguay. Picanha Paraguay. É medium? Médio. Médio. Hey, what does, what does, what does Mejerinho mean? Mejerinho. What? Mejerinho. No, they're not Caparina. <laughs> um, <laughs> like Adriana de Souza, like. Adriana is an animal. Warrior. Passionate. Passion. Relentless. Warrior. Ruthless. Relentless. Myself, oh, passion. I'm an athlete, I bring everything I can in the water. So I bring a lot of love and passion. As soon as I jump on tour, I have to better my skills on the barrels and in the big waves and other stuff. So the reason also I become world champ because I, I learn every single step of the world tour. Brazilian Storm is these seven and six athletes. They bring this to the world tour. So it is Alejo, Miguel, Gabriel, and Jadson, Italo and also Philippe. So these six athletes, they coming together and they have a kind of same age. I'm um, six years older than them, so that's why I was not in that, that pack. But I'm so happy for those athletes calling Brazilian Storm doing so well for my country. What is the deal with the backwash? I grew up at Copa with a bit of backwash going on. Like it's knee breaker, you can break your knees, ankles, everything. And when it's small, it's pretty gnarly. It's dangerous. But it definitely makes for some funny wipeouts. You just have to time it right, it's, it's challenging. And they're like ground swell, you know, they feel like they've been traveling from like thousands of miles. They're just this strong ground swell coming in from the sand. <laughs> it's hard to use the backwash. And it's just a little lump and the thing will launch you. Oh my God, okay, the backwash is crazy. Oh yeah, guys get absolutely twisted on the backwash. It's so scary because you can literally break your ankles. If you time it wrong and come down as the backwash is coming up, you're going to get lit up for sure. <laughs> Caparella for sale. <laughs> the question is, do I dress like the locals? Do I dress like the locals?